Hello! Hi guys, it's Inamka4 here and we've got the Sphero 2.0 gaming system. I've had this for a while so we're going to take a look at what it can and can't do and if you didn't see my unboxing of this, this is a robotic ball that you can control via an application on your smartphone. Whichever platform you prefer, iOS or Android, it takes just seconds to pair up your device to your smartphone using Bluetooth connectivity and then using the application, calibrate the ball itself iOS devices do a really good job of saving their settings so you don't have to calibrate the ball every single time that you load the application. However, Android devices I noticed had to calibrate the ball every single time you load the application, which tends to be a little bit tiresome after a while. As the name suggests, this is a second incarnation of Sphero and you're going to be wondering what's so different between this one and its predecessor. Well, Sphero 2.0 has double the speed as well as being twice as bright as its predecessor and has over 25 free applications from the Android and Apple app stores. Not just ones to control your device, but augmented reality games like rolling dead and space party as well taking sphero for a spin outside to a local skate park it's amazing how quickly you can get to grips with the controls to this small robotic ball however precision driving does take a little bit of time and effort but coupled with the two ramps that are shipped out of the box with Sphero 2.0, you'll find yourself just practicing to see how much air you can actually get. As I say, this relies on Bluetooth connectivity and I managed to get a range of about 30 to 35 meters away from the robot board while still managing to control it pretty well. Well, Sphero ships with a wireless charging dock, so you plug it in, place Sphero on top, and hey presto, it's wirelessly charging. Three hours gets you a full charge, and on a full charge, you get one hour's worth of playtime. But you'll notice the control in the water isn't great due to the very smooth polycarbonate shell so I would recommend getting a knobby skin cover which is sold separately and provides a little bit more control and protection as it has rubber-esque slash silicone qualities as well as having dots for as I say a better level of control. The makers of Sphero state this is aimed at ages 8 plus but as an adult well occasionally as an adult I found myself getting a little bit bored after about 20 minutes of play but I can fully appreciate the engineering and the technology that's gone into building a small gadget like this but I found my three year old son seemed to enjoy this no end and ran the battery completely flat and also got a little bit confused sometimes whether or not he was meant to control it via the smartphone or just play with it like a regular ball but he did seem to enjoy a hell of a lot it's also cool to mess around with pets like cats dogs birds or even in a fish tank as they will have no idea what's going on with a self-driving ball that seems to be changing its mood in its various glowing colors there we go guys that's been a look at Sphero 2.0 the robotic gaming system let me know in the comment section down below what you think is it worth the money or is it just another piece of overpriced tech as ever, any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and a lot what you saw. And if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. It's just down there. It doesn't cost you a single penny. And you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day. And we'll see you next time.